Howdy, Aromations here. First off, I just want to say how grateful I am that there are so many of you here watching and supporting, and I hope you're all having as much fun as I am here. I created this channel with the intent of just having some fun and not making any super serious content, and that isn't going to change in the future. However, something I thought might be cool is expanding the sort of videos that I can make, and that means voice reveal! Woo! I'm hoping to perhaps make content using my voice in the future, including Undertale content. Of course, I'm still going to make Animator vs. Animation and Animation vs. Minecraft fan videos. That isn't going to change. I love making content for you all, and again, I thank you for your immense support. Here's what I've been putting off. Undertale voice impressions! Yeah, you heard that right. But before I start, I would like to lay out some ground rules. Firstly, if you're looking to criticize, keep it constructive, please. Just telling me that sucks or your voice impressions are terrible, you know, that kind of thing. That's not going to help me. It's not going to help you. It's not going to help anyone because I'm just going to ignore your comment. Secondly, remember that this is all just for fun and not meant to be taken seriously. I know I don't have the voice range for some of the characters, such as Papyrus, and I hope I don't get judged too hard for that. That being said, let's jump right in. Howdy! I'm Flowey. Flowey the Flower. You're new to the underground, aren't ya? Golly, you must be so confused. Someone ought to teach you how things work around here. I guess little old me will have to do. Ready? Here we go. What a terrible creature torturing such a poor, innocent youth. Ah, uh, do not be afraid, my child. I am Toriel, caretaker of the ruins. I pass through this place every day to see if anyone has fallen down. You are the first human to come here in a long time. Come, I will guide you through the catacombs. <laughs> the old whoopee cushion in the hand trick. It's always funny. Anyways, you're a human, right? That's hilarious. I'm Sans, Sans the Skeleton. I'm actually supposed to be a watch for humans right now, but, you know, I don't really care about capturing anybody. Now my brother Papyrus, he's a human hunting fanatic. You're so lazy, you were napping all night. I think that's called sleeping. Excuses, excuses. Oh ho, the human arrives. In order to stop you, my brother and I have created some puzzles. I think you'll find this one quite shocking. But you see, this is the invisible electricity maze. When you touch the walls of this maze, this orb will administer a hearty zap. Sound like fun? Because the amount of fun you will probably have is actually rather small, I think. Yo, did you see the way she was staring at you? That was awesome. I'm so jealous. What do you do to get her attention? Haha. <laughs> Come on, let's go watch her beat up some bad guys. Wait a second. Papyrus, his cooking lesson. He was supposed to have that right now! And if he's not here to have it, you'll have to have it for him! That's right! Nothing has brought Papyrus and I closer than cooking, which means that if I give you his lesson, we'll become closer than you can ever imagine! Boo hoo! Afraid? We're gonna be best friends! Um, hiya. I'm Dr. Alphys. I'm Asgore's world scientist, but, but, uh, I'm not one of the bad guys. Actually, since you stepped out of the ruins, I've, um, been observing your journey through my console. Your fights, your friendships, everything. I was originally going to stop you, but watching someone on the screen really makes you root for them. So, so uh, now I want to help you. Using my knowledge, I can easily guide you through Hotland. I know a way right to Asgore's castle, no problem. I always was a crybaby, wasn't I, Kara? I know. You're not actually Kara, are you? Kara's been gone for a long time. Um, what... what is your name? Frisk? That's... a nice name. Frisk, I haven't felt like this for a long time. As a flower, I was soulless. I lack the power to love other people. However, with everyone's souls inside me, I not only have my own compassion back, but I can feel every other monster's as well. 
They all care about each other so much. And they care about you too, Frisk. I wish I could tell you how everyone feels about you. Papyrus, Sans, Undyne, Alphys, Torio. Monsters are weird. Even though they barely know you, it feels like they all really love you. <laughs> Frisk, I, I understand if you can't forgive me. I understand if you hate me. I acted so strange and horrible. I hurt you. I hurt so many people. Friends, family, bystanders. There's no excuse for what I've done. Wh what? Frisk, come on. You're, you're gonna make me cry again. Besides, even if you do forgive me, I can't keep these souls inside me. The least I can do is return them. And that's all for now. Again, all I can say is thank you. I have a lot of content planned for the future, and your support means so much to me. Well, if you're even still watching anymore, uh, comment your favorite Undertale character. I really want to know, and since I'm still writing Animation vs. Undertale comics, I of course want to include everyone's favorite. And if you don't play Undertale, well, I recommend it. It's an amazing game. Well, I guess that's all. Have a great day!